What's going down? Will Freeman, RevolutionaryLifestyleDesign.com, talking to you today about how to cure insomnia. Number one, get up at 6 a.m. every day. Winners get up early. This is a fact across the board. And circadian rhythm is a real thing. If you don't know what that is, look it up. But the way to make sure that you start falling asleep early is getting up at 6 every day. For the first couple of days, if you're used to sleeping in, you're going to be tired which is a good thing because you'll have to struggle to make it through the day and by the time 10 p.m. comes around, you're going to be ready to go to sleep. Okay, so you're not controlling the time that you're going to bed at, you're controlling the time that you get up at and you get up at 6 a.m. on Saturday, on Sunday, every day, no matter what, and that will fix your biological clock because most people that suffer from insomnia are night owls and You've got the sleep creep where you start getting up at 9, then 10, then 11, then 12, then 1, then 2. I've been there. It's not fun. So get up at 6 every day. Number two, exercise in the morning every day. And if possible, walk to and from the office. Number three, cut the caffeine. The ideal amount of caffeine for sleep is no caffeine. But at the very least, don't take caffeine, whether it's a pill or a coffee, after noon that will make a major difference on you being able to fall asleep. Number four, don't eat past 7 p.m. So if you eat a lot of food or a lot of carbs, which you shouldn't be doing, uh, although I'm guilty of that myself from time to time, you might feel tired at first, okay? It's not a good idea health-wise to eat a big meal before bed, um, even though eating food might make you tired if you eat a lot of carbs, but Two hours later, you're probably going to get a second wind as your body has fully digested that and that will um, oftentimes keep you up a bit later as opposed to having eaten at seven and, you know, having an empty stomach, you know, by, by 10, 10 to midnight, it's going to make it easier to fall asleep. And number five, and this is by far the biggest, most important one, if you get up at six and do this, these two things alone will be enough to cure your insomnia, let alone adding the three other things in there, is work harder, okay? If you have insomnia, you're not working hard enough. I guarantee this, okay? I've been, you know, ha had insomnia at 20 when I was failing out of university and completely lazy. And I've worked very hard. And when I work very hard, I fall asleep when my head hits the pillow, okay? This is the most important thing. So, a peak performer, I mean, forget about sleep, a peak performer works 10 hours a day every day, at least until money's solved, okay? If you're Richard Branson, you can work four hours a day on your own private island and spend the rest of the day windsurfing. But other than that, a peak performer is a guy who works 10 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's not a living hell because you have a business and you enjoy it and you have a mission and you're focused and you are productive and it's a part of your core is that you are a hard worker and you're driven and you have goals and you have all these good things and it's a great way to live. I love working. I don't love all the stuff I do for work, but eventually that will be outsourced. The key is I love getting things done and I love working towards goals and I love hitting those goals. Okay, you have to get high on achievement over pleasure. A lot of people who suffer with sleep app, uh, uh, insomnia, um, are people who are living on pleasure. They're trying to avoid pain as opposed to getting in there and getting high on achievement and getting high on getting things done and being productive and accomplishing things. Okay, and the best type of work for sleep is sales. And I'm talking about 100 to 200 outbound calls a day, uh, two to three hours of talk time on the phone pitching people. That takes a lot of energy to be in that peak state um, or talking with clients, you know, I have, two hour calls with my clients every day, you know, oftentimes multiple calls per day. So that stuff's really important. You know, it's a different ball game from just sitting there being on your computer, doing that kind of work. Personally, I hate writing articles. It's something that I do for the business, but um, doing videos, pitching, being on the phone, using your energy is much, much better, not just for state during the day, but for sleep. Okay, if you're struggling to sleep, get out there and start selling.
Okay, that that also applies to 100 to 200 outbound cold pitches a day on the street, at the gym, wherever. Doing 10 hours of pitches a day, getting new clients, you're going to sleep like a baby by the end of that. Okay, and that's not including, you know, making sure you're also doing your lead generation, uh, updating your CRM, um, managing your current clients, uh, doing all the other necessary tasks for your business or, or, you know, if you're a salesman, the same, the same applies. Um, doing all those things is going to have you sleeping like a baby at the end of the night. And that was my life in, in cutthroat corporate sales, hundred calls a day, three hours of talk time, plus the gym, plus walking back and forth to the office, plus using every, you know, most of my free, most of my off time, um, building up my business, okay? And I've had five businesses so far. Most of them didn't work because of bad ideas and bad execution. But I'm speaking to you, to the one that did, and that was a result of me working my tail off in all my free time when I wasn't selling, okay? And I didn't even allow myself to lie down because I knew that the second I lie down, lay down from anywhere from six o'clock when I got home till 10 o'clock, 10.30, I would fall asleep like that because I was so exhausted, all right? That's where you want to be, okay? Where you fall asleep where your hit, hit, head hits the pillow and I'm telling you, selling all day, especially if you're at a sales job and working on your business on the side will put you to sleep like a baby. And if you got your own business, you know, selling 10 hours a day, plus going to the gym, plus exercising, plus managing your current clients, plus doing all your projects, and necessary tasks for your business will have you sleeping like a baby. And I can tell you this, if you are struggling to sleep, it's because you didn't use enough energy. If you don't believe me, look up the Navy SEALs during boot camp, okay, where they are falling asleep on their feet. They're falling asleep in the middle of push-ups. They're falling asleep going through the obstacle course. And they get maybe four hours a night of precious sleep where they fall asleep, their head hits the pillow, and then four hours later, they've got a drill instructor yelling at them to wake up, okay? You can apply that to, you know, you can look at any scenario of, of conditions where people are working super hard. The same applies to um, corporate sales killers who are going hard. The same applies to serious entrepreneurs, okay? All my friends who are still in sales are in bed by 10 o'clock every day when their head hits the pillow, the guys that are going hard. Um, you know, the, the most successful guys I know are in bed by 10, 10.30. They don't have insomnia because they work enough during the day. They expend enough energy during the day that sleep comes naturally. And if you want to know how to sell, how to increase your output, how to make sure that you're doing all the right things to get that money coming in, but also to be able to expend all your energy during the day, check out my book, How to Sell Revolutionary Lifestyle Design.com forward slash products because I'm always selling or revolutionarylifestyledesign.com forward slash how dash to dash sell. Or if you want to kick in the ass and you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to succeed in your business and you, you're not using enough of your energy during the day to be a peak performer and you're not working hard enough and you want someone to give you a kick in the ass, check out my coaching. Sign up for revolutionarylifestyledesign.com forward slash coaching. That's my peak performance coaching plan. And I promise I will be there to give you the kick in the ass to make sure that you're doing everything possible, not just to succeed, but that you will be using up all your energy during the day and being able to sleep like a baby. And I will be able to tell you exactly where you're at, exactly how much of your true output you're really giving and give you all the psychological strategies to get you to where you are a peak performer going hard 10 hours a day, enjoying what you do, getting things done, and being able to sleep like a baby after a hard day's work. So go ahead and check out my coaching program if you are interested in me giving you a helping hand. Other than that, I want to thank you for watching the video. If it's the audio, I want to thank you for listening to that. I want to thank you for reading my articles at revolutionarylifestyledesign.com. And I wish you all the best in your personal development journey.